are about to leave to go eat. I'm staring at Lady through the back door. She's outside partying. Supposed to be partying. <laughs> I'm staring at Lady too. Go party. She did pee. But I'm waiting for her to do number two. I don't think just, she's going to do it. Just tell everybody your business. It's not my business. Well, just tell everybody her business. It's lady's business. Ah, now, you, how do you think Lady would feel about you telling them that she had to go do number two? Hey, everybody's got to do it. If you ain't doing it, you need to go get checked out. Because <laughs> you're supposed to be doing it. But we're going to get some food. And Cody is going to get some arrows for his bow. Because deer season, bow season, is swiftly approaching. I'm about to starve. All I've had is some rice. That leftover food. Come here, lady. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> you know you're not going with us, right? Yeah. Just wanted to show y'all my new dress I got from Target. It was on a clearance track. It was like $30 and I got it for $8 and some change. I got a blue jean one too. I'm thinking about doing a lookbook for a summer outfit. So if you guys want to see that, thumbs this video up, comment down below. Ready to go in? I know y'all can hear Lady. She's not very happy. Look at my gladioli. It's about to get rough. There's a little bit of sunshine. Peeking behind those clouds. Ooh, I just see lightning. Cody wanted to go. Cody. Ah! My hair, I'm still going off of same hair. Um, I haven't washed it. When I go, when I do it um, dry, like when I straighten it, I don't wash it nearly as much. I, I actually, um, go longer without washing it it's actually good to go longer without washing your hair because of the the natural oils that your scalp produces it's really good it keeps your hair healthy um and it's not really all that dirty and it's been a week and four days three days so i get that from mama mama can go i'm not even going to say how long mama can go without washing her hair because you definitely should wash it <laughs> but you can't tell like it does not look like you know it's been that long so that just shows how dry um her scalp is but anyway we don't know what we're going to eat at cody's opening our tags for the truck our tags dead died dead died died dead okay your name's on it right yep Oh, both of our names are on it, yep. But, um, we got a new tag. It's the one with the feather on it. See the little flag right there? Normally, North Carolina tags, there is the little old school airplane. So, we got the flag one or the feather? Feather. Did I say flag? You said flag. I totally meant feather. What did I say? What did I say there? I don't know. I have no idea. You're foolish. <laughs> kind of dark um we're wondering if there's like a tornado or a hurricane watch or something there's a thunderstorm warning out we didn't pick the right day to go nowhere anyway influencer sent me whoa whoa that come to rain we get back to what i was saying influencer they send you um free stuff and pretty much really all they want is from companies that contact influencer and um, they do like campaigns or you know just different stuff for members of influencer for them to try out product and review it um, so it's just like a marketing um, technique and once again ZQuil um, influencer hasn't sent me ZQuil yet but um, pinch me the pinch me box has sent me two different um, things to try I didn't like the first one it didn't work if anything I stayed awake more than when I normally take melatonin I normally take melatonin to go to sleep because my mind just turns on at 12 o'clock in the morning and I just just hey careful sorry 
so um, I didn't even try the second one um, I might give it a try I just know it didn't work for me last time um, so yeah I got this but I really like influencer they're supposed to be sending me another something to try it was some kind of new mascara or something but I really like it so you can try new stuff out you can help the companies get the word out and you can also you know figure out if you like something or not without actually buying it so I really like them do we know what we're going to eat? I'm just really hungry. Look at this cloud. This gangster cloud. Let me let y'all see this cloud. Okay. Look at this cloud. Look. It's like drawing a perfect line almost across the sky. This is bad. Out of all the times, Cody decides to peek to go and get some arrows. Should you or should you not have been a meteorologist? <laughs> should not. <laughs> this wind is what is just creeping me out. Other, you know, other than the creepy clouds. The trees are dancing. As long as I don't dance and fall into the road. Okay, so I just checked the weather and there's a severe thunderstorm watch. What's the difference in a watch and a warning? I never know what the difference is. One, you're what? looking for it. Another one, it's like, just in case. Warning right? is just in case watches you're looking for. It. Okay, so the watch is until 11. Moving east at 45 miles per hour. This line of storms has a history of producing damaging wind gusts. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. The James Plantation and South Port. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of the building. We might be good here then. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully it's bypassing here, but the house ain't gonna be good. It's just more I don't like leaving my baby at home. We got to hurry up now. It'll be over by the time we get done eating. It's moving at 45 miles an hour. This is your idea. Yum. Get in my belly. Thankfully, it stopped raining. Cause y'all know how this hair is. You want to take on? Park right here, honey. A codeine. Yeah, I'm okay. taking my codeine. We park in the front, just in case. Gator hole. Backup mirror is. Backup camera. It's a little. Foggy. It's a little wet and fogged up. Beep. 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 So. Time to get our grub on. <laughs> He decided what he's getting. Chicken and shrimp. He's he's such a visual person. Very visual. So all he had to do was see that, and that's what he's getting. I think I've ever been hit on by a woman before. Maybe I have. Turn it down. Maybe I have and just didn't realize it. But our waitress. Anyway, so I sit down and she comes up. Well, first of all, our hostess with the mostess. I think she just learned English. She was like so descriptive with everything. Like, this is your table. This is for you, and this is for you. Then she gave us the bowls, and she's like, "This is for you, and this is for you." Like I've never had a hostess do all that. <laughs> it was funny. I put my seatbelt on. But anyway, the waitress comes up, and she's like, 
oh my god you smell so good so then she um you know takes our drink order and then when she comes back she's like i'm just gonna stand over here next to you she asked me what i had on and i i wear um victoria's secret um very sexy temptation which is i actually have it in here which is why i had it on i always spray myself before i get out the bottle has seen better days i've had it for a while it's still almost full though because i was using my other victoria's secret perfume and i can't remember what it is angel i said the one with angel wings i think it's angel it's got that it's got the wings on the back that's the one i have but anyway um so yeah she touched my back like so weirdly like you know how you can like just touch somebody's shoulder like and you're like Haha. no she like reached behind me <laughs> And like caressed my back and like instead of like picking it up and moving it off, she like glided it over and then took it off. And I was like, did this woman just touch me? Like it's okay to like touch somebody, but like to caress them. I'm not gonna say rub because it was a caressing motion. I will not say rub. It was more than a rub. And Cody just laughed at me and thought the whole thing was funny and it was not funny. It was funny. I really thought she was like trying to stick me in her back pocket and take me home with her. Like I am not even going to joke. Ain't even playing. But she was nice. I mean maybe she just thought I smelled good. Then Cody said she winked at me and then I didn't want to punch him in the throat. <laughs> I don't think she winked at me. So she, no this is the wrong turn. Wrong turn. <laughs> but um, I'm like honey if she is she's wasting them winks. Girl you better save them winks for somebody that's wanting them. Don't you bring them winks over here. But, um, we are at the little shopping center that I like to go to. It's got Hobby Lobby, um, in it. But, they should be closed. I think Hobby Lobby closes at 8, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong. If I'm not mistaken, they close at 8. I used to work there. I worked at Hobby Lobby for a week. A whole week. Just in case y'all didn't know. It didn't last very long. I was in hair school. And I was trying to be more helpful with my, you know, like my bills and stuff, which I didn't have a lot. I mean, it was just my car and my phone. Um, but I was trying to be a little bit more helpful because when, when you go to Paul Mitchell um, at the hair school, you had her closed. You have to be completely committed to that because the way it is, it's sort of like work. You go like, it was like 9 to 3. I think it was 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. And then when you go up to the next part, it's Tuesday to Saturday. So, you really don't have a time for, for a job unless you go, like, after, which is what I was doing. I would be at work at 4 or 5 and stay until closing. And doing that every day after school. And then even on the days that I wasn't going to school, I had to go all the way to work. And I drove about 45 minutes just to get to school. So it was just, I didn't last after a week. I was dead tired. Like, I would get home at like 11 because it was Christmas time too. So we would have to stay and clean up all the ornaments. Do y'all know how many ornaments Hobby Lobby has to put up? A ridiculous amount. But well, we're at Dick's <clears throat> Sporting Goods. They better have what we're coming in here for because I do not want to go away to Best Pro Shop. Mm. Taking Cody straight. But he has been wanting one of these blessed book sacks. I know that's why he come down here. He has a book sack, by the way. I do not. Lie. What, what is that book sack laying in our closet? That's, a, that's not mine. That's not a book sack. I can't. Okay. Oh, it's not something weird. Really, thirty dollars for that little piece of cloth, honey goo. If Cody hadn't married me, he'd be he'd have to file for bankruptcy because he spends all his blessed money. I actually didn't start spending money till I married you. That's a lie. Think of all the money that you spent. Okay, he did buy a house. That wasn't for me. We were not married when he bought the house. I did help him. I did help him pick the house out, and we were dating. But he wanted a house. It was time for him to get a house. He was a grown man living in a itty bitty little camper. What? $250. We, we have that cooler. And it's We're not a big fan. It sucks, by the way. Yeah. Don't, don't waste your does. money. I ain't saying all of them does, but mine don't work with it. Don't waste your money. Get the Arctic one. That's like our cups that we have. 
They make the same identical cooler for like half the price. Sadly, they did not have what we came looking for. Oh well. We're in the Bath and Body Works. <laughs> uh, yeah, we definitely not going to Bath and Body Works. Oh god. We're going to Bath and Body Shop. A uh, small Butterfinger Blast. Okay, anything else? That'll be all. 426, please. Sign up on the second study. Is that what we're talking about? Um, yeah. Yep. At the top. It's dark. It's so dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one. That's not as harsh. More, 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 more. Aren't you glad we stopped? Nope. We're done eating no more of it, Em. You better give me some. That's so good. I'm gonna let y'all in on a secret. I am the percentage of the world that does not eat Reese's peanut butter cups. I don't like the smell of them. I don't want to touch them. In the package, it's fine. I mean, they're not touching me, but like out of the package. For some reason, they sort of creep me out. Like the scent of them just... I don't know. I don't like them. Never even... I don't even think I've ever tried one. Just the smell of it just turns me off. But you eat a butter but <laughs> I've been eating Butterfingers for I don't know how long I didn't even know what was in a Butterfinger I looked it up for some reason I don't remember why I looked it up but you probably I don't know why I didn't think peanut butter Butterfinger I didn't put it together Makes I guess because I tasted it it didn't smell like a Reese's so I didn't when I smell a Butterfinger, I don't smell the distinct scent of peanut butter. Like, I don't like peanut butter and chocolate together. I love peanut butter, and I love chocolate. But together, I don't like them. I say that, and I'm sitting here eating. She's weird. It's Butterfinger. Um, blast. But seriously. I don't like it. Here we are, guys. Now, I actually really, really like the Bass Pro Shop dicks not so much there ain't nothing in there now this place is high too but it's just so fun and adventurous in here i don't know why look at that gator look at the gator it's not real it's definitely not real thank you kind sir oh it's chilly it's so chilly here we go here we go this is so good. I almost wish I had a straw, but I probably couldn't get it out of a straw. We eat the bowls and arrows. The bowls and arrows. There's the bowls up there. There's all the arrows. Arrows. I'm about to explode. I'm about to explode. Well, guys, this has been a trip wasted, other than some good food, which we could have. I could have cooked tonight. We could have saved money, but um, Bass Pro Shop had the arrows he wanted, but the person there that was supposed to cut the arrows down to the length that he needed was not here. So yeah, there's that. So we are going home now. Hope you guys enjoyed our little impromptu date night, which this is what our dates normally consist of, is going to either Lowe's, Bass Pro, Home Depot, Dick's Sporting Goods, or sometimes even Walmart, which I hate going to Walmart. But, um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us. Tell them bye, sugar, sugar britches. Peace.